Dear Dr. Batman Gellich, Jeremy is skeptical. My 10-year-old son Aaron had allergies and asthma and was on five different medications until he started drinking water. Within blood one pressure dropped from 160 over 98 to an amazing drug-free 130 over 75. I am 90 years old and have angina. When I get an attack of angina, I rest and drink water. I don't The program water. reduced the frequency of asthma and allergy-related problems. Any medication for asthma. And I've lost 35 pounds. Despite the hundreds of letters full of personal testimonials, Dr. Batman Gellich has not had much luck getting our country's leading medical institutions, like the National Institutes of Health and the American Medical Association, to support him or his findings. Why don't you think the NIH and the AMA listen to you? Because it would mean eventually the shrinkage of their existence. We spoke to several medical professionals who wouldn't go on camera. They said while they'll agree that drinking water is beneficial, they don't think it's a cure-all. And what Batman Gellich must do to get the recognition of the medical community is clinical controlled studies to prove it. Studies that need lots of funding. Funding that is hard to come by when people don't agree with your ideas. Their issue is how do you convince someone that's been through four years of college, four years of medical school, three or four years of residency, and he's never been told that, hey, you know, the main constituent of, of, of your body is water, and that water can alleviate and in some cases cure certain diseases, uh, and even prevent some. Um, I mean, wouldn't that make you skeptical? It made me skeptical. For people just to drink water for three or four months, do a control study, and you would be amazed at how better people would feel. Disease can do some horrible things to people's body, and I think water can help. Is it a total answer? I don't know, and, and, and I really don't know that. Has it helped people? Yes. There is, there is no magic. It's common sense. It's just understanding the role of water in the human body, period. Maybe it is that simple, maybe not. But the one thing all the people we talked to had in common is that before they felt better, they drank maybe one to two glasses of water a day. The rest was coffee, tea, juice, and soda. Now they drink water and they say they feel great. Is it all in their heads or is there something to this? Batman Gellich's program is simply this. Drink eight eight-ounce glasses of plain old water a day straight from the tap if you want and add a little bit of salt to your diet. Anything containing caffeine, such as coffee, tea, or soft drinks, only dehydrates us more. If you drink them, don't count them as part of the daily allowance. Batman recommends one glass of water a half hour before meals, another glass two and a half hours afterwards. He says this is the minimum amount of water our bodies need. Sounds unusual, but simple and many people say they have found their health solution in the simple. Dr. Batman Gallage does say you should make sure your input matches your output, basically that your kidneys are working fine. Of course, check with your doctor before you make any changes. I take a uh, hypertension pill once a day, mm -hmm. and I see my doctor. It's not like, uh, you know, I don't go to the doctor anymore, but I feel 100% better that, mm -hmm. than I ever felt before. I have more energy. I couldn't even stand on my feet before. And now it's like, I just keep on going. I feel like you have a ready battery. The energizer. <laughs> Maybe the water helps me some way. I don't know, if it, even, even if it's psychological, let's face it, it helps. For something of this nature to be recognized, you know, you have to pretty much pay your dues. And I think that if water is going to win out, it has to pay its dues. So there you have it. You've heard from people who say drinking water has changed their lives. Does it have the power to change yours? Maybe. Maybe not. But there's only one way to find out. After all, it's only your future we're talking about. I'm Jennifer Watson, reporting.